Hello friends, you're welcome to The Key Point. If this is your first time you're joining us in our channel, please kindly hit on the red subscribe button below the video. And please don't forget to hit on the bell button beside the subscribe so you won't miss any of our videos. Thank you. Okay guys, let's quickly look at the analysis of this story and uh, see if the PDP and Atiko has a chance to win at the Supreme Court. You know, even when the 2019 presidential elections have come and gone, the effect on the major candidate and their supporters is yet to go away, with some of them having the hope of retaining power, while others are hoping to emerge as winner through court process. Remember that the conclusion of the after the conclusion of the 2019 presidential election, that threw up President Muhammadu Buhari as the winner, his closest rival, Alaji Atiku Abubakar, headed to the presidential election petition tribunal to demand that he was the rightful winner of that election. But tribunal ruling presided over by Justice Mohamed Gaba ruled in favor of Buhari, dismissed all the allegations, including forgery of certificate and other grounds on which he was challenged. And a result showed that Buhari pulled 15.1 million votes, while Atiko was able to clinch 11.2 million votes. According to Atiko, the result issued in his name and party does not tally with that, with what his party agent collated across the country. He also challenged results from Bunu State, where a bomb blast occurred on the morning of the election. He emphasized that. There were no voting in some of the northern states, which formed part of the reasons he went to the tribunal. Atiko, having participated and lost in the presidential election, according to the results from INEC, he said that he is hopeful of reclaiming his mandate at the Supreme Court. Supreme Court just announced October, which is today, as the date of commencement of hearing between Atiko and Buhari. Their legal team are going back to the courtroom this time the apex court to argue who truly won the election it is expected that whatever is the outcome of the apex court rulings it will be binding on both the petitioner and defendant and also be the final stop for his power tussle between the two leaders prior to the 2019 presidential poll something that caught the interest of nigerians happened when the chief justice of nigeria Walter Samuel Onogun was accused of corruption. He was the subject and headlines of major newspapers for several months because he was accused of not declaring his asset property at the Code of Conduct Tribunal. But the opposition, PDP, alleged that President Buhari removed him to pave the way for his loyal BAM to be at the Supreme Court in case he needed to get favorable judgment after the election. Ibrahim Tango Mohammed was appointed by President Buhari to replace Onogun, who was forced to retire. After Onogun's retirement, which seems like a mission accomplished, nothing was heard of him in relation to the allegations against him. Tango, when visited by a Senate committee of ju judiciary led by Senator Opeyemi, Obama Dele from Ekiti State, he said that the Supreme Court under his leadership will ensure that judgment is served appropriately without any fear or favor. Nigerian people are expressing hope by his statement because one of the major points raised by Atiko's legal team was that Buhari, as at the time he contested for the election, he was not qualified. He did not submit or attach his certificate obtained along with from CF001 to show that he obtained those certificates. President Buhari attached an affidavit to his form and the PEPT just rule that anyone who is able to read, write and communicate is deemed, deemed to be called educated. But what Electoral Act stipulates is that a minimum of school certificate must be attached. Another grounds Atiko's legal team are arguing is the fact that there was named disparity in the document submitted by President Muhammadu Buhari, but PEPT judge also said that such is not grounds to disqualify Buhari. There was a, pre a precedence which 
was not referenced in the case of Evan was not referenced in the case of Evans a wearing and Evans a wearing court ruled that the two names were not the same Buhari's legal team on the other hand at least that Elijah Tukwabubaka should be disqualified because he is not a citizen of Nigeria. Although the argument did not hold any water, it was dismissed, but Buhari still won at the PEPT despite the effort of Atiko's team. The final decision on who truly won the 2019 presidential election rest, election rests on the Supreme Court. Atiko's supporters and PDP members are hoping that they can still be victorious at the Supreme Court, while others are already asking the PDP to start the preparation for the 2000 and, uh, 2023 elections. After what they experienced at the presidential election petition tribunal, at that of Ozun governorship election petition tribunal. Okay, guys, uh, this is a quick story. I, I wanted to, from the analysis, from what the the, the chief judge of the Supreme Court said, okay, why I think uh, uh, the PDP and Atiko might win in the uh, Supreme Court is because of what Ibrahim Tanko said, uh, that uh, the Supreme Court under his leadership, it cannot, uh, that he will ensure that judgment is served appropriately without any fear or favor. Now, considering this, do you think he will actually uh, go by his word or he's going to actually act in the Supreme Court in favor of anybody. Kindly drop your comment in the comment section. Thank you.